All right, I get asked um, often from friends and stuff how to download a YouTube video uh, to save for use on, say, like a keynote presentation or maybe to throw on an Apple TV or um, somewhere else. And so ignoring uh, any potential copyright issues, I guess, um, this is how you can do it with uh, just using Safari and not having to download any applications or uh, extensions or plugins or anything like that. So in Safari, if you uh, browse to YouTube, so I've got a video just uh, loaded up here. And uh, basically what you would like to do is just let the video start loading. It doesn't have to be finished loading, which in this case it is, but it doesn't have to be finished. And then uh, you can pause the video, go up to Window and Activity. And for every browser window or tab you have open in Safari, there'll be uh, an activity item uh, in this list. And so in this case, I've got two tabs open. And uh, so the first one is the YouTube tab. And so just click the disclosure triangle. And then within that uh, drop down is all the files and things that the that particular YouTube browser window uh, within Safari is downloading or getting. And um, so you need to look for the file with the largest file size. So in this case, the it's fairly obvious this 18 meg file is what I'm after. That's the actual video. And so just uh, highlight that line and go up to edit and copy. So you can copy that address. And so then you can close that. And then what you need to do is grab, uh, look for the download window button. And in as of uh, late 2011, anyways, in Safari, uh, version 4, I believe, the, uh, or sorry, version 5.1, the download button isn't there unless you've actually downloaded something and have something in your history. So I've recently cleared my download history, so I just need to go just download something um, just to get that to appear. So there it is. So now if I click that, see what is in my download list, and go to Edit and Paste, it'll paste in the URL that I grabbed from the uh, that activity window this URL and actually download the actual file that YouTube is presenting. And in this case, it's a FLV a flash video file, which um, if all your video player elements and things like that are up to date, QuickTime's up to date, you've downloaded an application called Perian, P-E-R-I-A-N, uh, as a QuickTime plugin. It should play no problem inside of uh, most Apple applications, um, things like Quick, uh, well, QuickTime, obviously, and Keynote, and uh, things like that. You can download a program called Handbrake to convert it to something else if you want. Uh, if you want to send it to your Apple TV and uh, or your iPhone or whatever for something, some other presentation. So um, that's how you do that. So hope that helps.